Welcome to episode 8 of System Shock 2 Audio Commentary. I've finally gotten out of a very repetitive part of the game, and now I can finally make an episode that's more interesting. And this is the lightsaber, I mean, laser rapier. That is a very effective melee weapon. Unfortunately, its main prowess comes when being used against robots and has an energy skill of 4 for a requirement, as well as an agility of 3, which is very expensive, especially compared to the use of the other two melee weapons in the game, the wrench Security and the analid crystal. But it's still pretty nice. And you can find a lot of mods that, um, that change the color of it, which is really cool. And now, to the two engine cores. You know, I don't really think they'd be this close for a ship this big. I kind of thought they'd be a bit farther away. Wow, I didn't think those Star Trek-style sliding doors could kill someone. Man, those are dangerous. And once again, proof everything on this ship is built for idiots. You can activate an engine core with a press of a single button. But the stupidity doesn't stop there. No, 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 it's a lot worse. I can go into these engine cores when they're on. And there's even space monkeys. And whoever thought it was a good idea to store weapons and other important items inside an, an engine core was an idiot and deserves to slowly die by any means possible on this ship? And this must be the idiot who thought he could store weapons and items in an engine core of the ship. Uh, at least he fell off the edge and died. Justice prevails. Or stupidity, I can't tell which right now. That's another thing that really gets to me sometimes in this game. The spawn rate can startle me. I clear out a room, go back in, and poof! There's a hybrid with a shotgun about to blow my brains out. Ugh. At least it adds to the creep factor. The strange thing that confused me with the engine cores would be that I don't think it was Shodan that sh shut them off, and yet I don't think the analids did it either. Unless it was some mechanical malfunction, maybe. Maybe an analyd was controlling someone to do it, but... There's really no indication of how it happened. All I know is that Shodan wants them back on. Hmm... I wonder why! Wow! The sliding Star Trek door strikes again! It just decapitated this poor woman! How's that possible?! Just one more thing for me to do before I can use the elevators. That's right. I only need to press one button. I am not kidding with you. I go up an elevator, open a door, and press a button, people. What is this? How to fly through space for dummies? Oh, man.
And here it is, people. The one button to rule them all. And in the darkness, Colin. The engine core is now back online. Now get to the elevator and come see me on deck four. While you're doing that, I've discovered the presence of some annelid artifacts on board the ship. I think you may be able to use them to your advantage. I've uploaded the information to the ship's weapons upgrade units. They'll be able to convey the information to your cybernetic rig. What are you waiting for? Get to the elevator now. Damn, that Polito, I mean, Shodan, I mean, yeah, it's supposed to be Polito, yeah. Man, she's one busy bitch. I mean, she just keeps ordering me around. I don't know where we'd be without Delacroix. This whole ship is falling apart. She's the only one who knows what from what. I saw her arguing with that creep Anatoly Koretskin or whatever his name is. She was giving it to him, but good. But that freak job stares her straight in the eye and starts babbling about how she doesn't know the pleasure of the joyful unity or some such. Mamma mia, the clowns are running the circus. Actually, I think Kerenshkin and the menu are trying to turn in more of a porno than a circus. And now for a small little detour that most people ignore unless they decide to feel adventurous. Although, it's really kind of pointless if you're trying to conserve ammunition and stuff, because there are turrets and a few enemies down here. It's also effective if you're lucky enough to get an organ from one enemy in here, that you'd have to wait until you get the hydroponics deck to face. Just try not to get surprised by the two turrets that are here. Now it's time to unveil a new enemy in this game. One that you won't see until deck 3. But there's one here. Although it doesn't make any sense to why she's here. That's right. This is... The Cyber Midwives. But they can be easy to take out if you know what to do. I'll show you. That's right guys, whenever dealing with a pissed off female cyborg, a good wrench to the crotch will do the trick. It always does. Does it seem familiar? Because yes, this is the first elevator you pass that you never could get working before. And it also takes you really close to the other elevator you have to take that you can get to the five decks with. And now to deck three, hydroponics. But that is for episode nine. See you soon. <laughs>